Okay, guys, we're ready. Hey, Alex, it's kind of tough the day and night with that, especially offensively for you. Go ahead, go ahead, Ian. Okay, sorry, it's loud up here at the music. How, how tough of a day was this uh, offensively? A day it was a tough day. It was a tough day overall. I mean, uh, obviously, to come here and, and lose both games. Um, yeah, we were in it, but uh, we didn't do much offensively today. Uh, I think we pitched really well the whole the whole day. Um, obviously, the walks in the first one put us in a bad spot. In this game, Nate was outstanding. Just uh, two homers, and we expect to win games like this, you know. And uh, you know, we put some good at bats, but most of them, you know, uh, they were empty at bats. And that's why we lost the, the game. Alex, did you think that Duran should have gone there on that sack fly to Gallo? Or what went into that play? I mean, he it's one of the best defensive outfielders in the big leagues. I mean, we had second and third after that, you know. And uh, he has a cannon. We got the scouting report. And you got to be very careful with him in that situation. Um, you know, we prepare for situations like that. So uh, I don't, you know, I was actually 100% with uh, Carlos and Jaron in that one. Actually, I was more excited that Kike got to second, the second and third. And uh, we have two men in scoring position. Alex, what's the, uh, what's the significance to you of the Yankees being even with you now? I mean, um, they have a good team. I've been saying it all along, you know, and uh, they did some good things throughout, you know, when they were uh, struggled with the uh, COVID and all that, it started the last hometown here with all young kids, you know, coming up here or, or not young kids. Some of them were veterans in AAA, you know, coming up and, 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 and playing a different brand of baseball. You know, that's a different team than early in the season. Uh, they're more agile, more versatile, more, more, more athletic. And uh, one thing they've they done throughout the season, they can pitch. And uh, they've done it throughout. Obviously, they had some rough patches with that, but I think overall, their starting rotation is pretty solid. Their bullpen is good. And when you pitch, you give your, uh, yourself a chance to, to win ball games, and that's what they've done. Alex, you have guys in your lineup who have been among the elite run producers in baseball. How surprising is it to see guys like Devers, you know, Devers, uh, you know, have, have tough at-bats in those situations? Like, how much are you expecting him to come through when you see him bases loaded, runner on third a couple times? Oh, every time he's up at the plate, you know, we're looking for him to do damage, uh, you know, and um, I don't know where the numbers are the last few weeks or whatever, but uh, I think overall he's done an amazing job with men in scoring position throughout the season. That's why he's leading the league in RBIs, I think. Um, yeah, I mean, obviously probably he's a little bit frustrated that he wants to contribute and, you know, um, probably he, he hasn't done it uh, the way he wants to, but uh, I'll take my chances with Rafi Devers with the bases loaded all the time, you know. Uh, there's a good chance that he's going to put a quality at bat and hit the ball hard. It just happened that it didn't happen. You know, it didn't happen today. Alex, does it feel like a long time since you've had your your bullpen, your rotation, and your lineup kind of all playing well at the same time? Say that again, Pete. Sorry. Does it does it feel like it's been a while since you've had the the lineup, the bullpen, and the rotation all playing well at the same time? And, you know, you get your you get your rotation straightened out. You know now. Yeah, yeah, I, and you know that's a great point. I, I do believe you know uh, little by little we're getting healthy, and we we will get healthier uh, towards the end of the week too. And uh, I, I think you you saw what Martin did today. That was really good. Um, we we feel like pitching wise, we are where we we want it to be. You know, every five days is a solid start, and the bullpen is as complete as has been the whole season. So from the pitching side of it, we're we feel very comfortable. And if we keep pitching the way we're pitching, we're going to be fine. Considering, you know, the, the weekend, the sweep, how the offense was, was moving, everything like that, um, is today especially deflating after a weekend like that? It's not deflating. I mean, it's two games. We lost, whatever, you know. You play good baseball. They, they pitch well. We pitch well. We had three walks in the first inning and they put it in a bad spot. Obviously, there's no moral victories, right? You know, you come here to try to win games, and uh, it didn't happen. Yeah, you know, we're not happy that we lost two games, but the deflating part of it and frustrating part of it, um, if, if people feel that way in the clubhouse, they need to turn the page and be ready to play tomorrow. You know, from my end, you stay the course, you know. I, I think, you know, pitching-wise, 
we're gonna have a chance to win every uh, you know every 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 night we feel like the guy out there is gonna give us a chance to win a game and that's very important i think offensively we're a lot better than what we showed today alex you mentioned that the, the yankees are a different team but i think they gained nine games on you in like 25 days with half their team on the injured list is that concerning at all i mean I just worry about us, the way we're playing. And for a while, I think offensively, we haven't clicked the way we 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 know we can do the swing the bats. And this started early July. We 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 seen some flashes throughout the week. Uh, we did it in Toronto. We did it at home against Tampa. We did it against Baltimore. So you know that's what we do. You know, and uh, they have a good team. You know, before the season, everybody thought that we're going to be in this situation, right? So uh, you know, they they've done an outstanding job to gain ground, but we still have a lot of baseball to play. Alex, what was the issue when you were on the phone for a while with the replay coordinator yeah, and then came out? Was that, uh, um, you know, about going, declaring where, you, declaring where you're going, you know, if, if you're going from the wind of a stretch with, uh, with men at third, and uh, I was just trying to, for them to clarify, you know, the, the rule, you know, uh, he went from the stretch on the first pitch, and then he declared from the windup, and I, you know, I just wanted to make sure we were in the same page. Alex, if the season ended today, you guys would be out of the playoffs. Just what kind of fight are you in for here the last 30 some odd games? I mean, we've been talking about it. You know, it's a fun summer. We play meaningful games, but we have to be better, right? But, uh, you know, probably in a few hours, we're back in the playoffs, you know, like, right? I don't know. Like an hour, if, if the score stays this way, we're in the playoffs. I'm just joking with you, with you, John. We got to play better. We got to play better. That's the bottom line. And, uh, you know, it's, it's frustrating that, you know, we are not playing at the way we're capable of. It's been, it's been going for a while in the sense that the offense is not where we want to be. But I think pitching-wise, we're in a great place. You know, Nate threw a great game. Tanner did a good job. Uh, we got Chris back. Eduardo threw the ball well. And Nick is doing an outstanding job. So, if every night you, these guys give you a chance to win the ball game, uh, we're going to be okay. You guys, anything else? We have Nate Evaldi standing by. We're good. Thank, Thank you. you.